Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. I got the nicest man in tennis today here with me. We're going to smash rackets. What? Hey guys, do you need help organizing your tennis life? Well, think go. We got the Axiom line here, the nine pack duffel, my favorite bag, the nine pack Axiom 2.0. They even make a 12 pack if you're going on tour and my favorite backpack of all time. I love that bag. So if you want to organize your tennis life, think go. All right, guys, so we all know Coach Rob is like the nicest dude in tennis that we know. Um, nicest teaching pro, just a honest dude, you know? Thanks, Harry. Coach, Coach Rob, uh, have you ever smashed a racket before? Do I have to admit this on air? <laughs> I mean, I feel I... like we've all done it before. So back when I was much younger, playing in college, um, uh, there was a, a few instances where the racket and the asphalt became one mm -hmm. at a high rate of speed and purposefully. Mm, yes. Oh. And, um, so the racket then broke. Right. And, uh, that would became a learning experience because I wasn't getting any free rackets. Oh. I was getting discounted rackets, but not free. Right. So it um, started to affect my wallet. I see. And then the last one, I wasn't even trying to break. I missed an easy overhead. I turned and I lobbed it into the fence. And of course, there's all this space. What did I hit? The pole. <laughs> I hit the H bar. I hit the post and it cracked. And oh. I wasn't even that mad. Oh. That was the last time I've ever thrown a racket, and um, so far, that's a, a lot of years and counting since that one. So the last time I broke a racket was one of these Wilson Hammer 4-4s. These are ultra light, so they're ultra thin. Um, right. I, I think I took it to the net post, ah. but I didn't do it hard. I mean, I pretty much just kind of did that, right. you know? And then I guess just you that just was catch it just, just wrong. That was just enough force yeah. to to just have it kind of cave in. Right. Um, that was the last one. I mean, obviously, when I was younger, I I would you know do this. Do I think this. we watched a lot of a, a certain player who had a, a temper tantrum uh, occasionally when he played, and we may have watched. Oh yeah, Johnny Mac. You said yeah, it. Um, yeah, Johnny Mac. You know. <laughs> I mean, I've lit, I've broken rackets that are unintentional too. Yes. Like I've hit the ball up here, like square on on an overhead, and I, it would crack there. I cracked one on an overhead, and I folded the top down. Mm -hmm. I hit oh, it, wow. and it just went boink, and I had like little flimsy top. Right, right. I was like, so Fun. that's basically when it happens when it's not our fault. Right. We weren't intent. We weren't mad. We weren't doing anything out of anger. Right. Um, we didn't lose a point. We just, it just, it just happens. happens. So, so sometimes it just happens from, you know, a lot of that actually happens from like just tapping it on the ground, you know, just digging those volleys yep. or, you know, going for certain shots and kind of unintentionally scraping too you many mean like, times. like, like this uh, demo I was using that has missing a bumper guard part here where it's yeah. all scratched. Yeah. I mean, it, it's just people. <laughs> that wasn't me. You got to go for things. And I mean, we, we can't measure how far the floor is with the racket. We just kind of have to go for we it. We got to get it. We're happens. trying to get our racket under the ball totally. to keep it from bouncing twice. Totally. Sure. So, and, and that kind of wear and tear will eventually um, soften up the racket and right. eventually break the racket Correct. over time. Right. Now, I'm going to show us some rackets here. So these are already broken in some way, shape, or form. Like these are junior aluminums, as you can see. Like they've been, this one's been smashed because um, it's no longer round. Uh, this will not snap though. 
right. because it is aluminum. Right. So it'll they just, just warp. keep warping. Right. Yeah. Which is and it, and it may warp just by playing with it a lot. If it, it doesn't even have to be, I have had a couple of juniors that warped, and nobody was really abusing them. Somebody's mm-hmm. just really hitting it hard, or yeah, because it's just yeah. a soft. It's literally aluminum, like a can. Yeah. Right. So I'm gonna hand you that to hold. Here's another cheaper aluminum that, as you can see, it's no longer round. Um, somebody might have hit this one though. Possibly. Right? Yeah. So if you smash this, this is what gonna, it's going to look like. The good thing is it won't be as dangerous um, as like graphite would be. Right. You know, because it won't have shards. And then like this one, um, as you can see, the graphite's worn off. That gets a little dangerous if you start touching that part. Um, Somebody didn't change their yeah, grommets. Right. So, and then this one's been cracked. As you can see, that's warped. It is cracked at the top um, somewhere, but it's just a lot of wear and tear on here. And then this final one here, like you can see, like the top is just worn down on both sides. Um, so let's quickly talk about what can damage your racket. So these are already cracked. So I don't need to worry about too much. Um, net post. Or this one. Yep. Yeah, top of the net post can definitely like crack your racket. Um, this net is made out of metal. As I tell people, the this net, is made yeah, out of metal. The net cord is made <laughs> out of metal. Right. So Correct. if you go wham, right, my friend uh, Brandon, who bought a Regna, from Japan for 400 bucks. Wow. Who bought a Regna, went like that, and he says he didn't hit it that hard. We all he, say we didn't hit it that he, hard. He broke his <laughs> Regna right here in the throat, which, Oof. you know. That's expensive. That was an expensive uh, mistake there. Um, and then obviously the floor. I mean, I know people who've basically, and I don't want to do it that hard, um, they, they, they serve and then it slips out of their hands and then it kind of does this thing, right? Unintentionally. Unintentionally. Right. And it, it'll go straight in and then go straight up. Right. And sometimes it survives. If you hit it in the wrong spot, sometimes it won't. Right. So. Is there um, a better way to, to uh, let go of your racket? I mean, That I guess, doesn't break your racket or get you a violation? I guess if you're prone to doing it, maybe put a little string or a twine here. And then put it over against your wrist. So like a Wii remote back in the day. Yeah, so that when you, if and when you let go of it, it, it stays with you. Or and it, it doesn't. It, right, or if you go to throw it, it, it comes back and maybe hits you. And Right, exactly, <laughs> exactly. But. Um, I do know that if you, if you are unfortunately at the situation where you're going to let go of your racket, try to slide it. Mm-hmm. Or. Well, if you slide it, you're going to wear off the thing. I've right, seen that but at least you're not. Right, right. You know, um, but we could also talk about some ways to avoid what happens when we get angry and we. Oh yeah, let's talk about so that. So, the first thing is, if you're right-handed and the point ends poorly and you're upset or you get a bad call or whatever you think, put the racket in your non-dominant hand. Do anything to hurt the racket. Usually, I'm not going to be really abusive with it in my non-dominant hand. Right. You can. Just let it go. Just let let Walk the away. racket go. Walk just away. let it. Don't throw it. Don't get. Don't hammer it down. Just walk let away. it out of your hand. Walk away. Just walk away. Right. Um, okay. You know, those are ways that can try to alleviate a little bit of uh, stress and maybe save your court, the net cord, and your expensive racket from breaking. Right. Right. Well, let's. Let's go outside the court and see how hard or easy it is to break these. Okay? Let's just do some You mean break them more? Break them more. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So just because we respect the court, I don't want to damage it. Um, I mean, this is already an example of what happens when you kind of do this, right? It, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to, you know, warp. Warp. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to have you hold that. I'm not going to start smashing yet. <laughs> okay. I know you're backing up. Um, a lot of people 
you you've know, tricked me before. I know, I'm not going to trick you this time because I know this is going to be a little dangerous. <laughs> um, like people think that it's easy to smash one. You would actually have to hit it pretty hard on the ground in order for this racket to cave in. Or uh, just hit it right, crack it, and then play with it, and then it will cave in. Well, that's you know, once you get it cracked enough, and you keep playing with it, then it starts really getting disformed. That too. So I'm gonna I'm gonna smash it over here just to be on the safe side, and uh, see how hard it's gonna take. Okay. So. Okay. That was a pretty good hit. It's still holding up. Right. It's still holding up. It didn't cave. Nope. No, it didn't cave, right? So that was a pretty good hit. Do you want to smash one? No, thanks. Okay, because you're a nice guy. All right, so I'm going to try it again on the other side, okay? Okay, so that looks like it's maybe a little caved right there. Yep, that's it. You can see it, how it just pushing in a little bit and sure over time of playing with that right um and you can see how it's right asphalt and rackets don't like each other no, so much no but but you know i just showed like how it, it it's easy yet it's not that easy right to break but a but but broken is this is broken like mm -hmm. you make it go play with it but that's yeah. broken you're gonna keep playing with it it's going to get worse yeah so it's not like you're gonna usually cave it on the initial impact of it right. but it's you've done enough damage that yeah you it may not survive a string job right so i didn't hit it that hard yet it still caved so you could see that it's it's kind of beginning of the end if not already at the end Right, and so some people may not look after they bang it and they just go, oh, it's fine, and they keep playing with it, and then they take it in to get restrung, and obviously we look closely when we get rackets to see if there's anything wrong with them. Mm -hmm. And they go, hey, uh, you got a break here, and usually as you play with it, it's going to get mushy, it's going to then start changing more of the deformity of the racket, you'll start noticing it. Right, right. So I it's not that. usually on the initial impact that you go, oh my God, the whole thing's caved in. Right. That doesn't usually happen, but. So basically what's, what, what needs to happen is you see some people, they go wham, 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 and then, then it's done. Right. So. Right, yeah. I remember there was a guy, he took out, he was a pro, he was playing a match, he had just changed to a racket company, I can't remember which one, and he lost, and he went over and he sat down and took every racket out of his bag probably nine, 10 oh, rackets no. and just destroyed every one of them. Oh, no. And I'm sure if you look it up, you'll find <laughs> this guy just went to town destroying his rackets. I think somebody else on, that's on a pro tour did that once before too. It was a guy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sitting on a bench, sitting <laughs> on his changeover, just lit into him. Uh, so sad. All I right. I so wish I could remember his name. <laughs> I can picture him, but I can't remember I think his name. I, I think I know who you're talking about, actually. Yeah. I don't remember his name either, but it's been done many times. Right. <laughs> Coach Rob, thank you for, uh, you know, taking on this challenge with us, with, uh, you know, smashing rackets. I know it's maybe not our favorite subject. We try to avoid this. These are things we don't want to do. Right. Put that racket in your non-dominant hand. Just lay it down. Don't be tossing it. Don't be that person. All right. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.